everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be discussing and showing you my Peter Lick collection. So just a full rewind. So I first got into Peter Lick and started to know about Peter Lick because one of my friends was actually lucky enough to also own a couple of his pieces. Now the first piece that I ever saw was in a piece. And it was just honestly breathtaking. That picture was the very first piece of art that ever caught my attention in a way that I felt something. Um, and yeah, I was just in love with that particular piece and a lot of other pieces that Peter did. Um, so my friend actually did have quite a few of his pieces. There's one, oh, Solace, that's what it was. Okay, so he had a massive Solace picture in his bedroom. Also, Endless Summer, which is just like a stunning, pure, really like vibrant picture. And he also had the Sentinel, which is like a more muted, I guess, bridge photos. My friend actually had quite a good relationship with one of the staff, and I think I think the Cairns Gallery, yeah, Noosa, Cairns, I think it's Cairns in Australia, and I think he was ordering a piece, and at that point, I think it was cheaper if you ordered like two at a time, or more than one, so when my friend was ordering one, he asked if I wanted to place an order. Of course. Um, now, if anyone knows Peter Lick, it's obviously an investment. They are not exactly cheap pieces, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely a decision that I couldn't make straight away, but it was one that I was like, do you know what? This is a great opportunity, um, and it's something that I really want, and I'll probably have forever, so let's do it. So, my very first piece that I picked was Imagination, which I will put like images and videos of. Um, it spoke to me so, so much. It's also hard because you're ordering off a picture that's on the computer, so it's hard to exactly see it in person if you're not close to a gallery. Um, but yeah, so I chose Imagination. At that point, I think it was about like 4,000. I'm going to try and roughly remember pricing, but they obviously do increase, so I can't tell you exactly what they are worth. Um, also, so my next piece is Moonlight Reflections. This was actually one of my friends. He purchased it had it delivered obviously to his place and just didn't like it. So I purchased that off him. Oh, I feel like I paid maybe 3000 for that one. Um, but I, I cannot remember, but it was definitely cheaper than retail. So that honestly, such a stunning piece. And it's interesting. We've moved twice with it and it's just fitted perfectly in our upstairs hallways. So it just seems to be this staple piece in our upstairs hallways. And I just love the impact of it. Um, stunning piece really spoke to me, but probably not something I would have gone and purchased if it wasn't offered to me like the situation with my friend. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, but it's just not like amazing in my opinion. But I do remember when it was released and my friend purchased it and it was actually really like it did look stunning, but just, I don't know. It just doesn't speak to me as much as I feel like the others I have do. Um, and the final large piece that I have is the Tree of Zen. Tree of Zen, when that came out, I was so like, that is absolutely stunning. I was obsessed. Um, it was definitely something that spoke to me straight away and it just hit me so hard. It's actually the same tree as in Inner Peace, which I love as well. Inner Peace is obviously the green version. Tree of Zen is like the autumn red version. And it 
Where it is in our house in the entryway, it doesn't have such a big impact, to be honest, because you don't really notice it. But for us, when we walk downstairs, it's something I get to look at every day and it is just honestly so stunning. So, so stunning. So in terms of value for that, to be honest, I have no idea. I feel like a few years ago, it was close to sold out. I haven't like updated um, like contacted the gallery to try and get an updated price or anything for that. But I think it was sitting around like 80,000, which is so much money, but so stunning. So that one's a two meter piece as well. Um, now I do have the Peter Lick big book, which of course I'll show you this. I purchased off eBay for about $400. Um, it was in our front lounge room as such a statement piece and now I've moved it into our um, informal lounge room. Something that I thought I always wanted but when I got it, I guess it's, it's sort of like a dust collector in a way now. I did flick through it and I was super excited to get it. But it's just not something that I've reached for. It is so heavy. So to get it out, it's just like a bit of a, it's a bit of a thing to be honest. So yeah, I definitely don't reach for it. Um, I do have some elements. So I have five elements, which I will show you. So I have two in our laundry, two in our spare room, one in our bathroom, um, which... I purchased the ones that are framed off eBay as well. I think they were around $200 for all four of them, which I thought was a great price. And the single one in the bathroom, I think I got for about $180. Now also for Christmas, I picked up some Lick, I think they're called Lick Squared pieces, which were around $400 for both of them of like the old car. Um, I like them, but I don't love them. It's probably something that I feel like we'll look at selling. He did have them up in his office for a little bit, but it's just not a piece that I guess speaks to me in particular. Um, I'm not sure why I picked those specific pictures. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I love the quality, but I don't love the actual images that I chose to be honest. If I could go back, I would definitely get different ones. Now, if you live near a Peter Lick gallery, you will know just how actually stunning the pieces are in person. It's probably hard to see them coming across properly in photos or video, to be honest. We went to Vegas a couple of years ago and I went to every single Peter Lick gallery I could get into. Um, and I absolutely loved every second of that. We actually went into one of the rooms and they like have the dimmed lights and let you see what it would look like if you purchase the picture in the particular frame and they offer you champagne and all of that. And I love that whole experience. That was so exciting for me. I mean, we weren't going to buy anything, but it was really cool to get that experience of what it would be like if we did order from the gallery. So I really appreciated that. But yeah, if you have any Peter Lick pieces, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are on him as an artist. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Thanks again. Bye.